I'm Nicholas from Unity Technologies. I'm one of the authors of the uh, Unity engine. And basically it's, a, it's an engine which allows you to make console quality games in your browser. If we look at it, it's an authoring app where you just go in and you build your game. And you, can, and you, can, work, and you can work on everything and you have very quick and easy ways to, to just modify how your world looks. At any point in the game, you can just go in and you can test it. And then you and then you get a, and then you get sort of exactly how your game plays when it's in the browser. And we have like all the high-end effects you're used to from console games, inverse kinematics, nice character control, stuff like that. And the sweet thing about it is that you can do something like this, um, which I, which sort of yeah, it's a game that people will actually play. It's not some crappy web game. But then at any point, you just go in here and say, you're just going to the to our build settings and choose which platform you want to deploy it to. So you've got one authoring tool and it can publish to pretty much anywhere. So for a standalone or the web player or to consoles. And then basically once you're done, you go over here and then you have the exact same game running in your browser. Um, and it's being used by Electronic Arts for the Tiger Woods Online and by a bunch of other sort of large scale customers. And the nice thing is you can also just say I want you to go full screen and then you can actually deliver an experience like this that's delivered through the web and just runs in the browser. And yeah, so I mean, that's basically what we do. We're 60 people and this is all we do. We just make this tech. And yeah, we sell it for 1500 bucks um, to anyone who will buy it and there's no royalties or anything because we think everybody should be making games and we want to sort of just treat it just like, I guess, I guess, I, I, guess, I guess just like Adobe has done, where anybody just buy Photoshop and use that for their creativity, we think that should be done with games as well. That's a pleasure.